Hi, my name is Carly Phoenix and I'm here to talk to you about love and relationships and how we deal with love relationships in the Ho'oponopono course and with the Ho'oponopono healing and the Phoenix healing retreat. So you might be saying to yourself, how can I possibly ever be happy in my love relationship? Um, is the current relationship I'm in uh, savable? Is it salvageable? Um, or do I, if I do the healing, am I going to lose the person that I'm with and have to start all over again? Um, am I ever going to, you know, I've, I've gone through so many different relationships, how could I possibly find the one uh, by, by doing this sort of work? Well, the good news is, <laughs> I, I used to actually say to people, oh look, you know, the, the, the dangers of um, doing healing is that the people that you're close to uh, might not be with you anymore because you'll do the healing um, at your level, so you'll, you'll both be at this level at the moment, and then when you do the healing, you'll, you'll move to a higher vibration and they won't, and then you'll, you'll drift apart. Uh, but ever since discovering Ho'oponopono, I've been able to say to clients, well, actually, um, you can do the Ho'oponopono on yourself and them at the same time. So you can shift the energy at the same time and heal each other at the same time. And so if that person, if you have a very invested interest in the person you're currently in a, in a love relationship with, you can very, very much maintain that love relationship and actually heal it to the point um, that you are completely satisfied and content and you feel loved and, and respected and um, nurtured and comforted and all those wonderful things that you're, you're wishing to have from a love relationship that you maybe don't have at the moment, uh, you can actually create those by doing Ho'oponopono on your existing relationship. And of course, if you're not in a relationship or if you're, if you're quite happy to move on to another one, um, you can, um, you can manifest that by first healing what's inside of you because of course you're only going to attract someone that has the same frequency. So the higher you raise your frequency before attracting someone, the higher their frequency will be. So you're not going to, if, you're, if you have a lot of self-love, a lot of self-respect, if you nurture yourself, if you give yourself that downtime, if you, if you feed your body nurturing foods, if you, if you hug yourself and love yourself, and, um, and listen to yourself and, and respect yourself, then you're not going to attract someone who actually doesn't do that, okay? You're not gonna attract a love partner who actually disrespects you and, and doesn't nurture you and doesn't, doesn't um, make you feel safe and all those wonderful things that you're doing for yourself. You're going to attract someone who's resonating at the same frequency. So the more work you do on yourself before you attract the partner, the more likely they are going to be at the same level as you or very, very close to the same level as you. Okay, so you can either attract one right now and do the Ho'oponopono work um, on yourself and that person and go through the hard yards because there might be quite a lot of pain and discomfort uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with the, the way they're treating you. Or <laughs> you can do the healing first and then attract the person. Now you can attract someone at any moment in time. Okay, you're either attracting or deflecting one or the other. So um, at the moment I'm in a place of, of saying no, I'm actually going to just stay away <laughs> from relationships at the moment so that I can I can fully heal from my past from my childhood from all of the programs that are that are really um, uh, is it specifically based around love relationships um, before I actually choose to attract a partner okay um, it's not saying that I wouldn't say say no to um, wouldn't say yes sorry to somebody coming along um, but they, they would have to have certain certain things happening before I did that so the willingness uh, to grow with me would be the main thing and the willingness to communicate and that's um, I've actually said that in, um, in previous videos as well so it is absolutely possible to heal the, the relationship that you're currently in uh, and it's also possible to attract the kind of person that you are hoping for so first of all you can make yourself a list of um, the things that you would like uh, in a partner. So what sort of things would you like them to be doing? Uh, would they be nurturing you, making you feel safe? Would they, would they be there for you? Would they be supporting you? How would they be supporting you? How would they love you? How would they show you that they love you? Um, what kinds of things would you want to be doing together? Um, what kind of person do you want them to be? Um, so all of those things. And then, and then we look at um, the, what the programming is behind that. Okay, so there's, there's a whole um, sequence of programming that we do behind that uh, where um, I teach you how to do the data analysis on your relationship with love relationships, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and then we do the Ho'oponopono on those programs so that you can actually shift those things that are standing in the way of you in a, in a, in a very nurturing and sustaining and satisfying love relationship. 
um, and then you're able to have that, whether it's with the person you're with at the moment or someone else. As I said, you can you can actually do the Ho'oponopono on yourself and the other person at the same time. So you can raise the frequency of both of your energies at the same time. It's harder work when you're actually already in a relationship and you want to improve that relationship. You obviously, as I said, you're dealing with all of the stuff that's going on in that relationship, all of the possible abuse or, or neglect um, that you're, you're currently experiencing. So it is easier if you're doing it um, solo, um, doing the healing solo, so then you will attract someone who's, who's at the right level. Um, but it's up to you how, you how you go about doing that. So yes, in a nutshell, it's absolutely possible to have the love relationship that you are after. Um, if you want to message me uh, with how you're, you're feeling about that, what it is um, that you really want in a love relationship and or maybe the types of relationships you've attracted in the past and, um, and, and what you didn't like about those relationships maybe, I can give you some hints as to what your programs might be around that um, and how we would actually um, attack those in the Ho'oponopono training program in the healing uh, in the healing retreat um, I highly recommend that you go on to the website humanhappiness.com.au sign yourself up for the retreat or at least have a read and have a look at what's some um, what's available there um, because um, the answer to all of this is to is to actually just get into it and find out what your programs are and, and heal from it um, but but please don't hesitate on sending me a message an email um, and um, and I'm quite happy to engage with that and see how you're going um, touch base and give you some more insight into how um, the course can help you and your loved ones uh, with healing and shifting all that yucky stuff that you've got going on uh, in, in whatever area it is that you'd like to focus on. Okay, so I um, hope to see you soon at one of the courses. There's always a new course coming up. Um, so I hope to see you soon um, and between now and then take care and um, bye for now.